Hey everybody, it's your friendly graduate assistant, and today I want to talk to you about the variance and standard deviation. You're going to see on the screen that I've got a whole bunch of stuff already, but don't panic. We're going to go through everything. We're going to start out today um, with the assumption that we already have the mean of this number set. This is six. Uh, we've done a lot of number, a lot of work with this number set. It's the same number set. So we've previously established the mean of this is six. Now when you look at this this is nothing more than I which is location location 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and you have X sub I which is a value 3 6 7 6 7 6 4 3 12 um, most everybody is used to reading numbers from left to right to figure out the variance it's a heck of a lot easier to go vertical like we have right here all I've done is pre make some of the number chart we still have our location I one two three four five six seven eight nine and we have our number x of i which is three six seven six seven six four three twelve okay so all we've done so far is take this horizontal uh, number string and make it vertical when you're doing the variance the next step is to take x sub i minus your mean. Okay, so we've already established that our mean for this number set is 6. So 3 minus 6 is minus 3. 6 minus 6 is 0. 7 minus 6 is 1. 6 minus 6 is 0. 1, 0, negative 2, negative 3, and six. I always double check these right here because this is this is where I always mess up the, the simple stuff. So negative three, zero, one, zero, one, zero, negative two, negative three, and six. Okay, excellent. Our next column, we have to square this column. So if we write that up here, it's x sub i minus the mean and we square it. Okay, so negative 3 squared is uh, 9. Excuse my 9. It is a 9 though, just messy handwriting. 0 square is 0. 1 square is 1. 0 square is 0. 1 square is 1. 0 is 0. Uh, negative 2 square is 4. Negative 3 square is 9. And 6 squared is 36. Again, I always double check this because this is where I mess up most often. Square it, negative 3 is 9, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 4, 9, and 36. Okay, if we tally all of these up, the answer is 6c. So you just want to take this column and add it. 9 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus 4 plus 9 plus 36 does give us 60. <clears throat> okay, at this point, we need to figure out our variance because this gives us pretty much all the information we need to figure this out. Now, when you look at the actual variance, you're going to see some crazy equation. It's going to be something like S squared equals that crazy sideways E. There's a N, uh, N I minus, or I equals 1. And let's see what else we got x sub i minus, there we go, getting closer, we're almost done drawing it, over n minus, oops, all over n minus 1. Okay, I don't use that really at all. That's incredibly confusing for me to even read. What you need to know out of it is this, n minus 1. This is simple. Take this number, put it here. So you've got 60 divided by n minus 1. What's your n? Well, remember, your n is your sample size. So right here we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you'd be 60 divided by n minus 1. Your n equals 9. So n minus 1 equals 8. 
So you need to figure out what 60 divided by 8 is. And let me pull out my trusty TI-30 here. 60 divided by 8 is 7.5. So your variance is 7.5. You write variance by saying 7.5. Now your standard deviation, once you get your variance figured out, standard deviation is incredibly easy. All you got to do is square root this number. Um, you'll even see that the variance has the, the square sign right here. Standard deviation doesn't have that. So if we take the square root of 7.5, let's see, that gives us uh, 2.7386, and we'll go ahead and round that to 2.74. So our standard deviation is 2.74. Four.